so pleased to have as my guest today my very dear friend Gloria McKinnon from Australia. Gloria is an internationally known teacher. She's the author of 16 books. Mm -hmm. For 18 years, she was the presenter of the weekly needlework segment on the Today Show in Australia. She's the editor of many Australian uh, quilting and, and embroidery magazines, and she is a contributor to So Beautiful magazine. Gloria. Welcome to the DVD, I guess we should say. Thank you, Martha. It's our joy uh, to present to you Gloria's creations. Uh, let's tell them a little bit about how this quilt got started. We were at my house a few years ago, and mm -hmm. Gloria and I are looking through old magazines, and we looked at the modern Priscilla magazine, yes, what about 1900, I guess, yes. 19, somewhere yes. around. And Gloria said, Martha, these ladies, mm -hmm. these beautiful ladies. And I said, Gloria, is a quilt coming to mind? And she said, oh yes, a quilt, yes. an embellished quilt, Crazy Patch is coming to mind. So Gloria, literally, you took the uh, black and whites. Yes, and then they were tinted. I had took them back to Australia, and then I had our artist tint them, and then our computer person put two of them together because when we were looking at them as individual ones, they weren't quite the, the size that we required. And so then we also had our artists then do the pot of flowers, you know, the shrub that's beside them, just so we had somewhere to show off. And, and then you embellished with, yes. with handwork. But I yes. will tell all of you, because I know some of you are true uh, machine embroidery people, we have a few surprises in machine embroidery also, because you will be able to do the ladies in machine embroidery, or you can simply have them, the, the images are in the book, yes. and you can simply transfer them to fabric to use them like Gloria did for hand embroidery. Now on this DVD, Gloria, I think you're gonna show them how to dye laces. Yes. Like because we, these laces started out, you know, they can either be white or ecru uh, when you have that as a store-bought lace and then we've tinted it. And to you're tinting them. to the wonderful yes. colours so we're going to show and you're that. going to show beadwork. Yes, and so we're also going to do some uh, buttons. If we just look at this one up here, see where we've added oh, the, the there. Pretty. So we're going to do that as well. And that we're it. going to have lots of fun today. Yes. Now let's show them a few this, other projects in the book. Yes. These are little sachets, which are the absolute perfect gift and very quick and you see you can transfer this under fabric or do the machine embroidery either exactly. one. Exactly and you don't need I mean in our case here we actually did do a few stitches on it because that highlights it you know makes it a little bit more special but you know there are some there that we haven't put any stitching on at all. And, and that would be a very easy yes, present. Remember Priscilla this beautiful beautiful pillow and this one here see I have done a little bit more embroidery on here because I did want to emphasize on here so that we've got some French knots this is a store-bought fabric I know that some machine people would be able to do this but it is a store-bought fabric there and then it's the same with the trim and then we've added to the lace here some beading so there's some extra beading there and Gloria, all of the needleworkers always love a needle of scissor case. Exactly. I, I think these yes. are just perfectly beautiful. And if we look into them, see there's extra embroidery around here. So again, we've had our artist, when she tinted these, also add this for us around here so that... And, and all that, of these can be transferred yes, right out of the book. All definitely. of these are in the book. And then this oh, one, one here. one of my favourites. Because as a needle case, I mean, we always like to show off and, and you know, have something that looks wonderful to, to hold our needles. And then this has got some extra work on it too here where we're going to sh um, demonstrate that one. Oh, can I just open this of up course, so they can see this yes. beautiful, yes. beautiful needle case. And Gloria, I think you like to talk about well, I do uh, because, the back. Yes, because it's one piece and it actually is simple because here's another piece of the dyed lace that we're going to do shortly. And I think that that just gives you a different look. These were store-bought and they were cream and so they've also been dyed from there. And so that just means that you can do that one quite quickly. And this beautiful quilt. And other, now, what are, we got, what are we going to do today? So this one here is Priscilla's Garden. And if we look at this block here, just this one on the top left, all of the seams that we covered earlier with this in feather stitch, but then we've done this additional embellishing on top. So we're going to do this one, which is a cabochon, where we use peyote stitch on there. We're going to do the beaded uh, flowers in that we're going to do ribbon stitching here with our silk ribbon and then we're going to do the beads in the center from there we're going to show how this is just one stitch but we're going to do it in a variety of ways then if we look at this second block this was the one that we did then with our well what did we do herringbone stitch herringbone on that one stitch. and then we added some beads but we've already done that but then today we're going to do jones flower which is just a really special wonderful flower and then we're going to do more of these down on here then, and we're going to do these, which are, help me, what flower is that? I know exactly what that well, flower is. Well, I don't is. know, but it's beautiful, well, and it we're going to do it, aren't wonderful, we? Wonderful, <laughs> exactly. And then we're going to come down onto this one here, where we covered the seams with Lazy Daisy. But when we look into this, we're going to do some more of these, the Lazy Daisy and ribbon. And then we're going to do 
fuchsias. That is the word I was oh, looking for. We're going to do okay. fuchsias there, which is fun. And see, here's some more of our dyed lace. Then, if we look at this one here, we've got again seams that have been covered, but we're going to do more. This wonderful one we're going to do here. And then this is a small one, and we're going to do the larger one, but we do get the opportunity to see that one there as the small cabbage. So on. beads and ribbon are beads on the docket ribbon, today. Yes. And oh, dyeing. And dyeing. They're dyeing the laces now. This is absolutely fabulous. This is another one of the, all of these projects, by the way, are in the book. Look yes, and this one's Close foundation, yes, foundation, foundation piecing. piecing. Tell us about one. this quilt. Well, so these are neckties. These all belong to my husband, Don. And so that meant that we could use his and make a lovely memory one for his birthday. And so now, if you look at them, we've done it as a foundation pieced one. And that's also in the book. OK, yeah. now we have to show them the back. But we cannot oh, let everybody like, go. Oh, do yes, I love like this back? back. Yes. Wait, we Let's got it upside down. Turn it around this way so that we can see. Look at the tie on the back. Back of this beautiful quilt that she did for Don's birthday yes. with his ties. And I will tell you, Joe doesn't wear too many of his ties anymore, so I might be able to I get so. a lot out of his closet yes, too. Yes, you should. Gloria, thank you so much for being here, and we yes. certainly thank you for being here. You are going yes. to have a wonderful time with Gloria yes. and her stitching, and we're going to dye lace. And we just, I promise you, you're just going to have a wonderful time. And now, Gloria, we're going to look at a piecing overview. Yes, and then we'll be able to get all, all together beautifully.